on this thunderous episode of the NES Pursuit. I... <laughs> Look how mad he is, watch. A mass of retro hunters gather together to see who will find the best physical media. But also over here, I need your guys to help me pick something over here. Come here, I need their help. Come here. Ricky may be regretting the time he sold Gabo his Japanese Sega Saturn. It's always when you get rid of something that you want it back. Riff feels out a table that's oozing with Super Famicom. Yeah, I think I have to agree with you on that one, but let's see. NES Complex makes a gigantic truck trade that you don't want to miss. Pristine labels. Grab your fanny pack and prepare for yelling buddies, over-the-top gaming, retro legends, and grail accomplishments. This is the NES Pursuit. convention that I have not been to before. I keep getting mixed up going to other conventions at this time. So today, we're going to the Retro City Fest at the Pomona Fairplex. I'm excited this time. And we got Gabo the Giver. We got, oh, let's just say we got everybody. Why do I even, why do I even mention Gabo? I'm just, click, click, click that. All right, we're here today at Retro City Fest. Where are we? Uh, Pomona. Ricky, are you excited to be here? So excited. We got everybody going. Wow. Two, three. We have groups going in different areas. I have my new buddy Daniel coming. What's up, guys? Oh, wait. And he has a soft king, too. <laughs> Complex is coming. Vintage, Curtis, Chris Roberts, Gabo, Ricky. Really? Who isn't coming? Gamesters here, too. Squad! <laughs> That's it, let's go. So we're excited today, let's do it. Let's have some fun at the Pomona Fairplex. I don't even think I've ever been here in my life. Welcome to Retro City Festival. Are we going to play, is this 100? No, 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 no. It's 101? It's like 98. 98. Are we going to play Street Fighter? So I haven't been game hunting in a while with NES Complex. So right away I see him and I'm pulling him over. I'm like, Chris, we gotta get something together. But right, I need help. All right. I'm trying to buy some Xbox games. I've been getting into Dude, Xbox. I need at, at least two. So we go over to a booth where my newfound love for Xbox has been flourishing. Wait, do you smell it? Xbox. No, that's your breath. Oh yeah. Oh. When I see a bunch of Xbox games and I'm like, I just, I kind of just want two. And the one that I'm gonna get for sure, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this one for sure. It's a Street Fighter 2 anniversary collection. There is nothing like playing Street Fighter games on an Xbox Street Fighter anniversary collection. There's nothing better than playing Street Fighter. And then I'm debating which other games to get. We're kind of browsing around at a few others. Come on, Chris, get me a good one, bro. I'm kind of a Prince of Persia fan as well. But there's a few Prince of Persia games on the table, and we're like, I don't know which one to get. I don't want to spend a lot of money. It needs to be one of these. So you have to pick for me. And as we're talking back and forth, the guy who runs the booth. <laughs> get out of here! You ruined it. You ruined it. I have no idea which one's better. Which one do you think is better? The guy who runs the booth is like, hey, why don't you just take them all for one solid cheap price? Why don't I just give them to you for 15 bucks, dude? <laughs> why don't I just do that? Yeah. You know what? Have the whole thing and have a good day. All right, thanks, man. So I take the deal, I get it, and I walk away happy, smiling, all the way home with Xbox games in my grimy hands. I got you. Thanks, dude. I appreciate that. He could use go, a little no change. For you. You. you got him both. Hey, got I appreciate Thank you, man. that. I appreciate I'm just glad to have NES Complex in the show again. Hi. I'm NES Complex. Vintage on the show for the first time in a while. Not a good way to start 2019. Um, How's the baby? He's good. Don't don't put this in the video. It turns out I have astigmatism. So I'm Greb 
including Lord of the Sword on the Sega Master System. I uh, almost have a complete inbox Sega Master System cole uh, collection, and uh, there are just a few that I'm missing still. This happens to be one of them. Uh, price is 15 bucks, which I think is totally fair with a box in yes. solid condition. There's like no discoloration on the label. The first thing that I'm looking for is toys. I'm looking for Transformers, but I didn't find any Transformers. But you know what I did find? I found Mega Man X. Mega Man X. I love Mega Man X. In fact, I can hear Mega Man X right now as we speak. A lot of the Mega Man figures don't really look like Mega Man, you know? Like something's a little off about his eyes. It looks a little weird. But I found this really cool kind of posable fig. I don't think it's Figma, but it's that kind of figure. Very posable, beautiful Mega Man X. But this looks like him, and it's very posable, so I love it. And he'll go, he'll, he'll go on the shelf. But it was a pretty good deal, and I'm happy about that. I don't know if I ever told you that you have a sexy voice, man. <laughs> Hang on. I hear that a lot, actually. It's not true. I found this for five bucks, man. First of all, that's a really good deal for five bucks five because bucks. it's in clean condition. There's a, there's a little bit of the stuff don't, stickers, don't but still. And you're giving it away. That's for you, man. Also, thank you. Where's Ricky? Ricky, I don't know where. Ricky! Okay. He loves me so much. <laughs> so ever since I sold my Saturn to Gabo, I've had the itch to play Saturn. I sold my Saturn to Gabo, so. I want to kind of get this one. It's always when you get rid of something that you want it back. And you know what? I want it back. So I came here with a goal. I was looking everywhere for a Saturn. At least a good deal on a Saturn. It's clean. Wait. Let me see. Let's see the reveal. It's got two controllers. Ooh. Ooh. So can I keep this one? And we go to this booth. This guy has a box Saturn. But not just any box Saturn. A Japanese box Saturn. He said it's modded. Oh, also he's modded. Is huh? what? Modded. modded. It's modded. Oh, it's modded. No. Ah, it's modded. Okay, I guess I'll go for that. Gabble's trying to steal it from me either way. Feel it. Oh, yeah. It's a controller. It's a controller. Is it a controller? It's a controller. It's but I'm going to go for it. He asked 90. I offered... I think I offered 70 first, but he said 80 is good. They're asking 90, but they went down to 80. In the box? In the box. Ricky. So I went for it. You know what? 80. Bundled it with Gabo's House of the Dead doll. Are you gonna get it? You know what? What? I'm gonna, it's, it's almost my birthday, so I'm gonna get myself this for my birthday. Yeah! Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. And I'm happy. I'm really happy with that purchase. Now I just need games. Great. Good job, Ricky. Castlevania! Uh, are your legs permanently deformed from the skinny jeans? <laughs> <laughs> I've been good friends with Gabo for about five years and I've recently become good acquaintances with Riff as well and I was so excited when they invited me to this convention here at the Pomona Fairplex. Yeah, he has soft skin. It is what it is. Oh, <laughs> so I specifically remember playing Shadows of the Empire with my cousin growing up. So I had my eyes set on actually purchasing it today. I never owned it myself. I've always always played it at my cousin's house. I found Shadows of the Empire over here. I'm gonna grab it. So I looked around. I saw several different booths, and I found the lowest price, and I got it for eight bucks. Uh, that was the lowest price that I found today. A fabulous installment of the Star Wars saga, Shadows of the Empire, that unfortunately never made it to film, but thankfully we have a video game. Uh, so I was excited to find it and I'm looking forward to playing it. <laughs> Gabo is a magical, sentient being, uh, unlike any other I've met before. Super Nintendo Sega Genesis! When I was dead, bro, I couldn't imagine this! He's just such a pleasure to have in, in my life. <laughs> Can't I don't know what's live in audience. <laughs> I've been missing this disc for what was that thing? Two years. Yeah. I have the green disc, but not the blue disc. Yeah. And he helped me complete it. I found the perfect monster. Star Wars Demolition! Oh.
All the way back in the last table over there, I see a big Master Chief Hermit. 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 What the hell? <laughs> Helmet. I would, I think I would try to use the brown card. I think you should, yeah. Brown card, brown card. offer him a burrito. That worked last time. I see the price tag for 150 bucks and you know. Feel his skin, feel his skin a lot. Okay. The more you feel his skin, I think that will bring the price down. I asked him like, hey dude, can you give me a deal? Deal, not deer, the one that. <laughs> deer, deer. Can you go 100? A uh, hog, a uh, soft skin, and probably a burrito. So anyways, <laughs> um, he ended up, end up giving me the price of 10 bucks, man. So that's a steal over there. Sure. Yeah, nah, I do a better deal. 10 bucks, brother. What? 10 bucks, brother. <laughs> and my burrito. Oh my god. Really? Yeah. 10 bucks, Come on, bro. 10 bucks. First of all, because... First got, of all. Can you please... Shut up! Shut up! Double, come here. Yeah. The most important thing. Oh. Ouch. So I'm gonna rate this one a 7.8. So got this. It's missing the front cover so I don't show it. This guy's of Arcadia. So I go over to another booth and I see on the corner these little Street Fighter 2 muscle figures. Street Fighter 2 muscle. Look it's at funny, that. I didn't have any desire for any muscle stuff until Complex got the Mega Man muscle figures. Now I'm not that big into muscle figures, but I did remember NES Complex getting some Mega Man ones recently and when I watched the footage back, I was really jealous. So I'm like, for five bucks, I need to get these. But then also on the same table, but also over here, I need your guys to help me pick something over here. Come here, I need their help, come here. There's a bunch of Super Famicom stuff. And recently I got a Super Famicom with NES Complex, flashback, this and again. And then they say, why don't you take the Super Famicom, the Super Famicom case, and Bonks, which came out in 1994 for the Super Famicom, a fantastic game. Wait, I've made some friends already. Back in. And then after I got that, I'm like, I need more Super Famicom. I wanna buy two Super Famicom games because recently I got a Super Famicom. So the games I get on the Super Famicom are Street Fighter 2, playing it, on, although it's good on the Xbox, playing Street Fighter 2 on a Super Nintendo or a Super Famicom is like the golden way to play it. I was also looking at Star Fox, because I'm a huge original Star Fox fan, and then also this is an obvious one. And also, Debatably my favorite game of all time. I mean, Link to the Past is gonna go over Star Fox. That's just the reality. The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. It is my favorite Zelda game for sure. I'm not really gonna be able to play this one because of the Japanese trans, I'm not gonna be able to translate. just for the box. Look at that, it's beautiful. Yeah, I think I have to agree with you on that one, but let's see. But I, oh, I, it's probably my top two games of all time. So to get both of these games and at a good price with my Street Fighter 2 muscle figures is amazing. If I buy all these, Fair will price. you do it for five bucks off? Yeah. yeah? Nice. Cool. I'm picking him up. Ouch. Gabo doesn't have that soft skin. He's got, he got wit. Oh, gosh. Bro. Did you feel that? <laughs> Ricky. He has self skin. Soft skin. <laughs> what are you guys doing over there? Now we're farther. It is what it is. <laughs> hey, hey. No brown on white crime here. What are you. <laughs> why is he hiding? Oh, oh, what the hell? No way. My papa! Oh my. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, ah! Oh. <laughs> Charlie. 
coming. You scumbag. You dirtbag. You swine flu. You. So the day's about to end. And I'm like, I need something different to happen. So I'm like, Gabo, I got a great idea. I just bought these little muscle figures. Gabo could use some muscles. He just bought, what else did you buy? Well, I got a bunch of stuff, but okay. what I want to put in line. So Rifo came from this big idea, like to like a competition, and we are putting something that we that we already bought. I bring a Star Wars games, and he bring the little muscle Street Fighter. I don't know if I ever told you that I love Street Fighters. Okay, so what we're gonna do Ricky, the official, the official Alturo is gonna pick what I want to do. I see we put these both on the line, and we let Ricky dictate a game for us to play and who'll pick and we have to give each other winner takes all so let's go find it let's go and the winner of the game gets to take both games home for free Ricky goes over, he's looking. He's looking at the games. But then he sees, he sees the game, and it's Killer Instinct. Little does Gabo know. A bit of a Killer Instinct connoisseur, especially with Orchid. Round one, fight. Fingers are flying, our heads are sweating, we're getting excited, Gabo is crying, little Puerto Rican tears. They're everywhere. They begin talking and crying like... I, I love Gabo with all my heart, but I had to take him down. So I gotta take both of these away and I gotta walk away the victor. Yeah, he's the winner. Yes! Yes! Yeah. Well, I can get the game. So I guess for today I suck by Ricky. So now I can finally have my muscles. <sighs> Not the best. Good game. Very good game. And Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. I don't know if it's good. It's Transformers. I don't know what this is, but it looks kind of fun. It's pronounced Back You Gan. There you go. That's I think. Captain America. He's one of the Marvel guys in those new Marvel yeah. movies. And this is about geometry. <laughs> Take that, women. getting two, count them, two Super Nintendo games that I need for my complete collection. I am four games away. And so Curtis Freisel, my buddy who, you know, he, he's uh, collecting Super Nintendo. He only needs four games and I actually have two of them. So I'm gonna make a trade with him. The goods? Yeah, we got the goods. No one's watching. What's your boy? NES Complex has two of them for me. Fatal. Final Fury Special. Fatal Fury, Fatal Fury Special. Fury Special. I Very hard to find. On. It's like I'm so excited right now, I don't even know how to. <laughs> but this Super Turrican 2 is beautiful. I, got, I just got Super Turrican 2. Do you realize how hard it is to find Super Turrican 2 in this condition? Look at it. Show it right now. Oh, that's 
that's just, that's beautiful. That's what that is right there. I mean, this is a couple hundred dollar game. We're making the trade. I am trading him, and you are giving me, which I haven't even seen these things. I might go back, I might renege on this deal. A bunch of black box games. Sexy black box games. Pristine labels. It's basically all, there's like 20 games in here, and they're all the black box titles with good labels. Merry Christmas. Hey Ricky, let's we go back to the old days, just me and you, right? Yeah. Okay, right, cool. That's what I thought. So it was awesome to come here because we got to hang out with everybody. So that's it for Retro City Fest. And this was wild, it was out of control, there was not much structure, everybody was talking over each other, but you know what? That's the fun of conventions. You get a whole group of people together, there's no rhyme or reason to what we buy or why or what we do. It's a bunch of friends hanging out and embracing the inner nerds that we are. So that's it, thanks for watching. I actually don't wanna leave, because I wanna go back in and get more stuff, but I know I'm time crunching, so goodbye. See you later. That's it, Game Chasers out. Long live the Switch from Wood. Okay, stop, it's awkward. <laughs> Stitch on my buddy. <laughs> hey, look at my camera. Why do I get treated like scum? I <laughs> <laughs> how mad he is watching. Brown <laughs> plotting against white, I knew it. It ain't what it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sexy thing. It is a minty label. I printed it myself. Retro Liberty! In my game's room. I knew you were gonna zoom. <laughs> And that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. Cut it. Do you see it? Do you see it? There's too many brown people on the show. <laughs> now you're playing with super power. You just threw Mario on the ground. Yeah, I did. Did he break? You, you missed it up. This is Vintage Video Game Geek. I tried to lose him the entire show. Gabo doesn't have that stop and skip. He got, he got whipped. Oh, God! Bro! Did you feel that? Dude, I sneezed. Oh, oh my God. I literally felt you're spitting on my face, you disgusting animal. It's Super Mario USA. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Can't believe you lied to the audience. <laughs> I really miss you too, and I like being in your armpit. Where's the kiss? Where's the kiss? Gabo, where's my kiss? <laughs> yeah, that's totally true. <laughs> what happened to your voice? <laughs> what your voice? What? If you... I hear Gabo coming, but I'm gonna act like I don't see him. It's gonna be a substandard episode, but better than the last substandard episode that you saw about two months ago that I was in. The how of the dead. In fact, this might be the best episode. Hi, Ricky. Hi, Vintage. Hey. Cut. <laughs> nice. And now I'm a happy, happy complex at the Pomona Comp Fair Play. A happy complex gamer. It's recording already? Yep. So we're going to the expo. <laughs> it's a hell, hell, hell man. Whatever. <laughs> you say gobble because he loves me. Oh. Wait, if I push your head, will you squirt into my armpit? Hey, why not that? This is the worst True. shop in California. Worst deals, ugly vendors, and um, <laughs> all right. games are bootlegs. Yeah. He got soft king. Not his range. He's now part of the squad. Look at this hunk of man meat right here. What happened to your voice, really? <laughs> what happened to your voice? I don't know, it's creamy squad. Oh, like now. Oh. Come on, dude. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>